So basically, the plan is to get him to ask for change for the pinball machine, yep. then threaten him, yep. and then we beat the snot out of him, like in a movie, right? Well, yeah, I guess that's it in a nutshell. That's beautiful, Tom. Uh, thank you. But what if he doesn't fall for it? Tom, are you kidding? It's like an overgrown child. He's practically got rube sewn into the back of his underwear. <laughs> yeah. He's the poster child for naivete. <laughs> oh, oh, here comes. Oh. oh, hi, bros. Hey, my old pinball machine. Yeah. <laughs> Want to play? Uh, no. Uh, what else is going on? Duke! Nothing, Joel. Not a thing. We used our tricorders to scan the SOL for entertainment potential, and the pinball machine is the only thing that even moved the meter. Yeah. Well, uh, you you guys know best. <laughs> uh, what's that? Uh, I said, do you need any quarters? Yeah, you know, actually, I don't have any money. Let's just forget it. I'll give you fifty dollars. Need change? Uh, Crow, this doesn't have any connection to that weird beating scene in today's film, does it? <laughs> No! I mean, chief! I can't believe chief, Joel. I mean, what would make you think that? It's just a chief! Yeah, yeah, right. Like, like, hey, Servo, let's drag the pinball machine on deck and get Joel to ask for change for his 50 and then hot file him by a bunch of crates we set up to look like the alley. Yeah, right. Well, you please this guy? Well, uh, if it's all right with you, then I'll just borrow one of your quarters and uh, play a game. No, here. of course. Go ahead. That's right, though. What do you think it's there for? <laughs> Uh, Joel? Uh, yeah? Uh, you're not gonna take that $50 and come into our mock alley set and let us hogpile you and snag on you and stuff, are you? Uh, no. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. Joel? Uh, yeah, honey. You're absolutely sure? Yeah. Okay, well, then we're just gonna have to hogpile you here, sir! 